your emotions. And the Bible says that he's rolling around seeing who can he get in. Write this down. Proverbs 26 and 2 says, A curse can't come without a cause. In other words, something got to happen in order for a demonic spirit to come in on the inside of you. What do you mean? So when you just watch Freddy Krueger and somebody got killed and you say, Ow! You just open up the door to fear. When you now begin to walk in your room and you begin to look at all your bills and you say, all these bills, I don't have no money. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to lose my house. I'm going to lose my car. I'm just frustrated. What you're doing now, you're bringing in the spirits of fear. You're bringing up the spirit of overwhelm. You're bringing in the spirit of frustration. You're bringing up the spirit of, 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 of overwhelm and confusion and darkness because you feel like I can't handle this. It's too much pressure. Pressure, not understanding your words are like a GPS. We wondering how come the devil is messing with us when the devil is messing with us because of what we're saying. This is too hard for me. This is too hard. I can't do it. The devil said, okay, first let you go ahead and get them. I feel like I'm about to lose my mind. The devil said, okay, go ahead, Spirit of Insanity, go get them. Because you are being marked by the very words that you spoke. You may be at home and you don't open up your mouth. And you just sit at home in the darkness. You won't even cut the light on. You won't even cut the TV on. You got to understand your actions is drawing evil spirits to you. Write this down. A spirit needs a body in order for it to express itself. So when you begin to speak, you are invoking whatever you speaking for that spirit you're saying, you can use my body. And see, you got to understand we are damaging ourselves because we grew up in homes, we grew up in situations and circumstances that already abused us and we're angry with God because we say, how come I keep going through these cycles? And God said, because I need you to get in my word to recognize a lot of things that you're saying. You are harming yourself. And the devil wants us mad at God because we're looking at God like, why did you let this happen to me? Why am I going through this? Write this down. Proverbs 18, 21. It says, death and life lies in the power of your tongue. The Bible is a book of spiritual laws. It's a book of spiritual commands. So if I don't know the laws, if I don't know the commands, I'm bringing harm on myself and I don't know it. And this is why a lot of things is going on in our lives because we harming ourselves and we don't even realize it. It's a spirit of self-sabotage. That's why the enemy wants us at a place where we're always offended. Can I tell you that God will always bring somebody in your life. He's such a loving God. He will always bring somebody in your life that's going to help you. He will always put somebody in your life that will tell you the truth about you. But let me tell you, this is what the devil does. He hates you so much because we're so used to being damaged. We're so used to being misused. We're so misused to being hurt. We're so used to being disappointed that when God brings help to you and they begin to tell you something is wrong with you well, why, do, why do you gloat about being rejected? Why every time somebody try to come to help you? Why do you always push them away? How come when somebody's telling you something about you you always get offended? You always get mad? You always run when you hear the truth? You know why that happens? Because the devil is, he got us so used to being damaged that when God put somebody to speak truth to us us. We get upset with them. We get mad with them. And them demons inside of us push them away because those demons want a place to stay. See, we got to begin to understand when you come to God, God got to begin to see the word of God is like a mirror. It's going to show you what's on the inside of you. 
You may think that you're fine. You may.